Hi, it's Handy Andy Tech Tips here, and I'm always looking for ways to improve the quality of my videos. That's why recently I bought a new tripod. Now you're probably asking, why did I need to buy this? I mean, I've had a basic aluminium tripod for years now, ever since I started my YouTube channel, and it served me really well when the camera was stationary, like this. But lately I've been trying to go for some more creative shots, so I've tried tilting and panning, and the movement on my existing tripod was a little bit jerky to say the least. So I decided that I needed to replace it with this, the Promaster FW29T Featherweight Tripod. Now this is specifically designed for video, and what that means is that the head, e.g. the place where you mount the camera, is filled with a friction reducing fluid which allows you to get those silky smooth pans and tilts. Now in terms of the unboxing, it was a bit of a non-event, there's not really that much included. Just a little bit of packaging and this interesting looking Allen key tool which, among other things, can be used to remove the legs. Now talking about the legs, this tripod is made of magnesium alloy and it seems really sturdy. Its weight is 2.17 kilos, which means that it's not exactly featherweight, the name's a bit misleading there, but it's certainly lighter than many of its competitors. Another benefit is that it can almost cope with any terrain that you throw at it. With its rubberized feet and independent legs that aren't joined by any kind of center brace, this means that you can release the leg clamps and bend the legs into some pretty ridiculous looking positions. And it's certainly not a short tripod either, except in this shot, and you should never pretend that you're taking photos while you've still got the lens cap on, except in this shot. Anyway, at the maximum height of the legs it stands about 168 centimeters, which is around 5.5 feet. Plus, you can extend the centre column and get another 30 centimetres at least. This means that with everything extended to the max, it stands at more than 6 feet. And yet this thing is absolutely rock solid, it feels well built, it's tough, and in normal use it's not going to tip over. So that's the leg sorted, but what about the head? Well, it comes with the Promaster 6160 three-way pan head. And honestly, this one's so good, I can't think of a reason why you'd need to replace it. It comes with all the usual features. You can do a horizontal pan by loosening a screw in the side. You can do a vertical tilt by loosening the main handle. And you can even flip your camera into portrait mode. Yes, you heard that right. You can actually rotate your camera 90 degrees. That is, if you're willing to run the risk of damaging an expensive DSLR, then sure, go for it. But maneuverability aside, what I really wanted to know is just how good are the results that you can get from this tripod. To test this, I should mount a camera on it. So I tried two. I tried this old Fujifilm Finepix bridge camera, which you'll see in all the shots, and I also tried a Canon EOS 700D. So of course, the first step is to remove the mounting plate. You do this by flicking the quick release lever, and then it just springs up. Gee, the plate looks awesome, doesn't it? It has a cork finish. It looks like something from the 70s to me, nice and retro. And then you can attach your camera to the plate, and then simply apply a little bit of pressure on the front of the mounting plate to make it snap back into place. Then you've got to position the tripod legs so they're nice and level. And you've got two instruments to help you do that. Not only do you get the standard spirit level which gives you a measurement in the horizontal plane, but you also get something called a bullseye level. If you want to get really technical it tells you when the pitch and the roll are correct. So that basically means when the center pole of the tripod is pointing directly at the ground. So you're almost ready to start shooting. All you need to do now is extend the quick release leg clamps to your preferred height and then switch on your camera and get ready for some smooth panning. So would I recommend the Promaster FW29T? Absolutely. When you compare it to other pro tripods on the market, you'll find that's very reasonably priced. It'll give your video productions that professional touch, and the build quality means that you'll be enjoying it for years to come. Anyway, I'm Handy Andy, and thank you so much for watching my video. If you did enjoy it, then please subscribe to my channel for more tech videos, and make sure to hit that like button.